It's a beautiful day here in New York City. Right now I'm at McCarran Park in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and I just had a very pleasant lunch at the Michelin-starred restaurant, The Four Horsemen. Normally I try to film these introductions before I actually eat at the restaurant, but I didn't have a reservation and The Four Horsemen is a very popular restaurant. While getting a reservation can be quite a challenge, they do allow walk-ins at the bar, but it is a small restaurant and there's not a lot of space. So the second I got off the subway, I just rushed right in. And thankfully I got a spot and enjoyed a very pleasurable meal at a restaurant that's actually more so well known for their wine list. So this is my experience at the Four Horsemen. The restaurant opened in 2015 from James Murphy of the band LCD Sound System. Inside, the Four Horsemen is small. It has a minimalist aesthetic, but one that still maintains a warm atmosphere with ample wood paneling. Because of its compact size and popularity, reservations can be a challenge to procure, but thankfully the horseshoe-shaped bar is left open for walk-ins, which is where I was seated. The establishment's menu is made up of dishes on the simpler side served in a small plate format. Four Horsemen's wine list is indeed one of the restaurant's main draws. The expansive 53-page menu focuses on natural wines, which is generally referring to wines crafted with traditional methods, free from the usage of pesticides and with little to no additives. The selection is very impressive. One can even find large format bottles like Magnums and Jeroboam's. There's also a list of wines by the glass. I chose a 2019 Solvaner varietal called Mouton Bleu by Domain Man. Mouton Bleu translates to blue sheep. This wine from the Alsace region of France was very pleasant and had a sort of crisp green apple taste that went very well with my food. I didn't have to wait long before my first course was presented. It was a tagliatelle with sun-gold tomatoes and caramelized onions. The dish was simple, but flawlessly executed. The pasta was perfectly al dente and topped with a generous serving of cheese imparting a nice umami flavor. Both the tomatoes and onions were solid components which benefited the overall impact of the course. I also really appreciated with how this plate paired so nicely with my wine. Soon after finishing, my next course arrived. It was the fried quail with chili oil, marinated cucumbers, and cilantro. I forgot just how small quail is. Beneath the mound of cucumbers and cilantro sits a very tiny bird. It didn't take me long to realize that dissecting it with only a knife and fork would be insufficient to allow me to consume every morsel of meat, which was exactly what I wanted to do because the dish was delicious. The crispy skin of the bird was so texturally satisfying and had a ton of flavor. In addition, I loved the spice and taste of the chili oil, but also how the cool cucumbers served as a refreshing contrast from the heat. If the Four Horsemen were to open a fried chicken restaurant with the meat prepared in the same manner as my quail, they would absolutely destroy KFC, Popeyes, and their competitors. This was indeed a solid course. Finally, it was time for dessert. I got the pavlova with macerated cherries. The flavors from this course were immensely satisfying. However, the meringue shell offered far too much resistance when I tried to cut into it. The texture was certainly off. Although the flavors are great, and I still really enjoyed the dessert. It was a good lunch at the Four Horsemen, but the problem was I was far from full. I should have ordered more courses, but the three dishes I consumed along with my glass of wine, the tax, and the tip set me back $100. Despite the relatively affordable prices for a NYC Michelin-starred restaurant, the cost can easily spiral into a very expensive meal. But all in all, it still was a really nice lunch even though I still had space open in my stomach. So that was a very nice lunch, although I'm not filled up, but that's my fault. I probably should have gotten four or five courses, maybe even six. The food was really good, but uh, I just want more. Regarding the wine, their menu was very impressive. If you're a wine fan, the Four Horsemen is a spot for you. But if you're not a wine fan, the Four Horsemen wouldn't be the first Michelin-starred restaurant that I would recommend. 
because I think there are other one-star establishments that offer better and more interesting food for a greater value. But I still really enjoyed my lunch today at the Four Horsemen. I think it's a great restaurant. They offer really good food and a very impressive wine list. I just wish I had more money so I could have purchased more food and more wine. I think I'm gonna have to stop at a pizza establishment or something because my stomach is still calling for food. But regardless, the Four Horsemen is a really solid establishment. And it's also my 65th Michelin starred restaurant I dined at, which means I've accomplished my New Year's resolution of going to at least 65 Michelin starred restaurants. Very pleased with that. Although I don't think 65 is the most exciting number. 70 is a more interesting number. I'll definitely be going to more Michelin starred establishments this year. I don't know if I'll get up to 70, but we'll see. Anyways, great lunch at the Four Horsemen. I'm off to get some pizza.